Hello everybody, this is Kappel Gaming. Today uh, we're just gonna give a quick review of... Uh, what was the name of this game? Roots of Pacha, right. It's like something before you buy stuff like that. Like A little small review from actual people who actually enjoy the game. So this is not a paid sponsorship at all. I would love it to be. So let's start from the beginning. Is it worth the price? I'm just gonna say that in the first time. I think for what they're actually asking, it's definitely worth the price. This is more like, if you if you like Stardew Valley, for example, they have a lot of the methods from Stardew Valley, but they actually have their own little flair to them. So they're a little unique in their own ways. It's just not, not the same as most games that they literally just rip off Stardew Valley mechanics with anything from themselves. So we are kind of, let's say, decent in the game. We're not, we didn't finish it absolutely at all. We're still having a lot of way to go into the game. But in terms of familiar features, if you're familiar with titles like Stardew Valley, you'll notice the plant, water, harvesting cycle and mounts. Mm, some, uh, some of the more hidden gems that I found so far is a mystery system associated with each plant type, fish and tree. It seems as you get to a higher level, your chances for, ability, uh, for better quality harvest increases. So that's one thing that you can do with it. Now, let's go with also the ugly and bad situation because it's not a perfect game at all. The mini games are actually atrocious. Like the game itself is beautiful, but sometimes it's just horrible. Uh, the second one, in my opinion, will be the teaser show irrigation. But don't expect it to get early early on. So like in 20 plus hours, it's still not there at the moment, sadly. But again, it's a great game to play. You can so you have quite a big map, a couple of variety of maps. So you also have a energy system, different animals that you can actually tame and ride, like the alpacas on the actual screen right now. You can tame them with the mini game. They all have unique abilities uh <clears throat> running or more stamina or things like that let's say the music is very decent the story is good the gameplay is very fun but the game length it's uh so let's say if you actually go for everything it's around 60 hours by the look of me researching on the internet it's definitely worth the price Again, if you just like Stardew Valley and you want something that is Stone Age more than Stardew Valley, this is definitely for you. Every single time you actually donate to the camp per se, like uh, objects and different things you fish and so on, you get that little points where you can actually spend them on upgrading your own house with buying stuff, furniture and stuff like that. And also, also tools. And the most important little thing, I guess you can call it, is actually every day somebody new, somebody from the actually camp, let's say, comes up with an idea that you need to have them build. Like before, you will not actually have the time like we have right now on the right side of the screen that it says 4.50 p.m. The old hag, let's say, in the camp was like, you know what, I got a great idea. Let's build this thing to imagine the time like an actually old school sundial if i'm not mistaken it's called which is great now we actually have the time the second one that the game doesn't actually tell you which you should know from me right now it's the little dots moon whatever you want to call it on the right side of the screen up with the three half of it or whatever the fuck is there it's actually the time. So when it reaches the last one, you're going to pass out. So it's better to do that before the last little circle of sun goes down. Now, if you just want to maybe just farm, you can definitely just literally just farm the shit out of this. You can find seeds all over the map. So it's not something you're obligated to do. You don't need to stay only in farming because it doesn't actually have any money. It only just camp contribution. But you can also trade with the villagers. Like every single one of them, maybe you have something they like, maybe you have something you want from them, you literally gonna you literally can trade with them. You can also dance with them. There's also racing, there's a lot of puzzles. The puzzles are a little retarded, I'm not gonna lie. 
some of them they're maybe written very badly or they didn't quite get the point across like the one we did that they said uh, how many turtles are there and you can literally try every single answer until you find it or spend a couple of minutes if you think you can do it from the first part you cannot it's a little convoluted the answering itself is not there the story is decent the gameplay is very nice the graphics are very beautiful because i like semi-pixelated games so that's on me you still have seasons i don't know how the winter looks yet because we're not that deep into the game but it's definitely at least for me stardew valley is always gonna be a 20 out of 20 for me but this one it's at least a nine like at the moment and there's a lot of new things coming for it because they do have a roadmap they're also gonna be releasing on ps4 xbox and every single other system out there so if you want a game that you can also play with friends by the way which is multiplayer it's not on the same pc so you cannot play local split screen or local co-op you need to both have the copy of the game but it's definitely worth a buy at the moment with the 20 dollar price if i'm not mistaken or 20 euros whatever you want to do it so yeah it's literally just go grab it now and enjoy it and let us know what you think so thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one